Hello and welcome to the Diary of a Backmarker's first episode where I'll be tracking and commentating on my sim racing journey. Currently I'm playing Assetto Corsa Competizione and driving the custom Golf Livery 2018 Bentley Continental GT. I find myself in a public lobby at Zolder with the dynamic weather and I now face a wet track. The fun plot twist? I've never raced in the wets before, at least on an online lobby. With the parade lap going crazy I get a bad run as I'm paying too much attention to nearly everything else before the start of the race. As you can see, I'm ready off the gas early and pressing the brakes, trying to give as much space possible to the other drivers while the Ferrari runs wide and unfortunately ends up colliding with the Porsche in front of me. The M6 probably hits a puddle or with cold tire ends up hitting the Ferrari in front of me and luckily I managed to brake. Even though I've lost my position, I'm still on track and doing my best to see the brake point through the rain. Coming up, we hit the Klein chicane and this is my favorite part of Zolder as the Bentley doesn't get unsettled over the curbs and so I'm able to brute force my way through. Luckily I'm also able to avoid the wreckage in front of me and head down to the next set of chicanes. Already I'm seeing that I'm gaining time off the M6 in the second sector and take note of this to see if this is a pattern. This is one of the tougher parts for me as I often break too late and later found breaking right when the 100 meter uh, board disappears would help get me around the last complex and into the straights a lot quicker. And with the M6 running wide, I knew I'd gain more time and hopefully didn't crash at the first turn, which has always caused me so much trouble. Unfortunately, I hit the curbs, unsettling the car for a bit while I exit turn one, but at the same time, it doesn't disrupt the Bentley too much, so I don't really go off the track and I don't lose that much time. As we exit turn two, the M6 and I let the left wheels drop from the track and we both shoot across. Thankfully we were both able to save it and not cause an incident on either of our part. Heading into the climb chicane again, I know I can mount an offense and continue to close the gap. My right wheels don't drop off the track as much as the M6 ahead and I know I can mount an offense through the chicanes coming up and continue closing the gap. I still make note of giving the M6 room since I don't want to lose my position or cause a wreck. Once again, the wet track proves to be in my favor as the M6 loses traction and allows me to continue to close the distance. But with the tight nature of the soldier track, it is hard to pass here and I'm waiting for a mistake. And luckily that mistake happens. With me having the outside line, I do make note that the M6 is on the inside but I do have the drier part of the track. So I do have more traction on the track and I'm able to cut to the inside and hit the apex better and get a better run. We do give each other a lot of room which is great from both of us and I, and I commend the driver as he could have easily just swerved into my line. I do eventually once again slip behind and focus on mounting my offense through section 2 again. Luckily we do avoid the car ahead that does spin out which does take a little time off of me and allows the driver ahead to extend the lead a little bit more. The M6 finally makes a big enough of a mistake that I'm comfortable capitalizing on and promptly take the position from the driver. I make a big mistake by dropping my left rear tire onto the track and you can see it sends my car going wide. Luckily I don't suffer any track limit violations and I still keep my lead ahead of the Bentley. Thankfully the race has come to a close as I see the fireworks up ahead and claim my 5th position out of 16th in this public lobby race. And not too bad for my first time at a wet race. So this has been my very first episode of Diary of a Backmarker. Please leave a comment or any suggestions of what you'd like to see in, in a future episode. So to keep track of my progress, the track today was Zolder. I started in 8th position out of 16th and I finished in 5th. The fastest lap of my race was on 1 minute 38.371 and thank you very much for watching the video. Have a nice day and hope to see you in the public online lobbies.